Barclays is in focus, and we partner now with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Richard Stove and Bradford joining us now, just listening in on Barclays' earnings call. He's with us from London. Richard, so glad you're with us. So what was the most surprising, if anything, from uh, Barclays management? I think the, the general profit number, profits were, underlying profit was up more than threefold to 5.6 billion pounds, which is 8.7 billion dollars roughly. The other amazing thing was the sharp increase in their core tier one capital ratio to 10 percent. That's going to be very useful in the coming year as regulators start to focus more and more on capital adequacy. The other thing was that their liquidity tripled to about 127 billion and about 85 percent of that is in cash. So if you like, all the dials on John Varley, chief executive's dashboard, are pointing in the right direction. And to achieve that, he has really cut costs. And of course, there's been the most fantastic spurt given to earnings by the acquisition of Lehman Brothers in North America last year. So we're seeing Barclays Capital taking real advantage of the lower competition on Wall Street, if you like. And we know this is one of the only banks that didn't take state aid. But what does this say for the rest of the UK banking sector? Very hard to read across at the moment because you've got Royal Bank of Scotland, which does have a residual investment banking operation, but on a much restricted, more reduced basis. And then you've got Lloyds Banking Group, also part state owned, less state owned, but still part state owned. That's only really a domestic retail banking play. So I think this is a standout result in the sense that you've got an investment bank running and supporting a weaker home performance in UK retail banking. And if you like, these results prove the worth of universal banking. Many people are against it, saying there should be casino banking on one side and narrow banking on the other. But here's proof that together universal banking can work. Just because Barclays Capital, as you mentioned there, with the help of Lehman, had the best results while the UK banking was lower. Is that right? That's absolutely right. Let me just glance down quickly. Um, you'll see that, for example, um, Barclays Capital increased its profit before tax contribution nearly 90 percent to 2.5 billion. And in the UK, the retail banking went right down 55 percent to 612 million. Richard, we thank you so much. Richard Stoven, Bradford there on a big story out of the UK, Barclays Earnings.